The Bell V-280 Valor is a tilt-rotor aircraft being developed by Bell and Lockheed Martin for the United States Army's Future Vertical Lift, FVL, program. Bell's V-280 Valor and the design team behind it have proven performance for every essential aspect of speed, range, and agility, as well as cost, schedule, and performance, with the added benefits of burn-down risk and long-term affordability from a tried-and-true tilt-rotor platform. The best FLRAA, Future Long Range Assault Aircraft, solution to meet the Army's performance and price requirements is a tilt rotor. Over three years and 215 hours of flight testing across an extensive flight regime, the low speed agility, long range cruising, 305 knot high speed flight, sling load performance, quick rope deployment, and mission systems integration were all demonstrated. The tilt rotor moves at a pretty amazing rate. The exhibited top speed, in fact, is about 60 knots faster than any rival technology. That added speed translates into better mission flexibility on the battlefield, a wider geographic reach to address global concerns, and quicker medical care delivery to improve the survival rate of war victims. While the V-280 has a somewhat wider footprint than the Black Hawk, it is also more than 20% shorter, and more importantly, the leading and following edges of that footprint are free of exposed rotors. This footprint is exclusive to the V-280 design and offers flexible landing zones and increased soldier safety all around the aircraft. Actions into and out of the landing zone do not require any clutching or declutching mechanisms of complicated propellers thanks to routine tilting of the prop rotors. The important thing to remember is that tilt rotors, which were originally thought to be more difficult than helicopters, are now the least complicated means to achieve this unparalleled performance. With decades of risk reduction acquired on a fully operating fleet of aircraft, tilt rotor technology has reached a stage of maturity where it is the accepted technology, rather than a few prototypes with a very small number of hours flown over a comparable period of time. When a rival makes the somewhat mocking claim that the V-280 defeats them in a drag race, they are arguing on Bell's behalf by acknowledging that their prototype is far slower than the V-280. Do you believe that's what soldiers who are about to go into battle want to hear? No military commander has ever asked for less capabilities because speed is always superior. The V-280 dispels the misconception that tilt rotors lack the necessary agility for airplanes. Bell's triple-redundant fly-by-wire system has flight test data demonstrating level 1 attitude quickness in the low-speed regime. The Army has first-hand knowledge of what the V-280 is capable of handling in both known and unidentified mission challenges thanks to the five different Army test pilots who have flown several missions. Compared to a rotary wing platform, flying a tilt rotor on the wing allows for rather aggressive maneuvering at high speed. While still in a positive energy condition and without placing undue strain on its dynamic systems, the V-280 may instantly turn on its side like an airplane to flee from the threat. The restrictions of a primary rotor mast or an overhead rotor system for quick maneuvers in high-speed flight are not an issue with a tilt rotor. Undoubtedly, the tilt rotor has already been shown to be the most effective design for combining high-speed and low-speed maneuverability while reaching the longer ranges necessary to maintain relevancy over long land and ocean distances. The V-22 Osprey, which has been used in two decades of international military operations, has demonstrated that Bell's Team Valor delivers soldiers' speed and range without sacrificing the agility that the Army already has in its current rotary wing fleet in the low-speed environment. The advanced tilt rotor design has been improved by every lesson discovered through real world, outside of a lab experience, so it is not an extrapolated model or a guess. The V-280 configuration benefits from all the knowledge gained by the U.S. military during its 650,000 tilt rotor flying hours. This is the most important strength that allowed the next generation, digitally designed V-280 demonstrator to fly more than a year earlier than any other JMR technology demonstrator and regularly achieve a faster operating tempo during flight tests and much longer flight times. 
when comparing the language of maturity, reliability, and maintainability various air vehicle configurations, it is this kind of demonstrated and predictable performance that speaks for itself and translates into life cycle affordability for the operator. According to the vice president of Bell's future vertical lift strategy, what Bell did with the V280 Valor was evolve the tilt rotor configuration into a fighting machine designed specifically for the Army air assault and utility missions in contested environments and to be maintainable in the field. We demonstrated that there is no component on the V280 that you cannot pull with organic ground support equipment in an austere environment today, demonstrating that this is not going to be a dangerous configuration for the Army to adopt. The cost factors for rotorcraft are generally accepted to be the blades and gearboxes. The V-280, an aircraft that spends 85% of its time flying at high speed while exploiting its fixed wing, dramatically reduces those cost drivers, which are the ones you want to be able to control and manage. The V-280 has fewer blades overall than even the Black Hawk of the present. Gearboxes are around the same size. For FLRAA, that stands out as a key differentiator in terms of pricing and maintainability. The Army cannot subject itself to the first-generation difficulties of a technology that has never been operational given the threat scenario facing our country, especially if doing so would require a trade-off in terms of speed, range, reach, and survivability. The Army's air assault and medevac operations require a revolution in capacity to confront the growing threat from near-peer rivals. Edgewise rotor flights drag cannot be tolerated on this crucial long-range, high-speed mission any longer in order to provide the Army with the groundbreaking capability it needs to operate in constantly changing threat scenarios. The test results are in, and given the complicated geopolitical situation and tight financial constraints, it makes sense for the Army to focus on the tried-and-true technology with a performance margin that will remain relevant for generations while taking advantage of decades of tilt rotor development and operation. It might be prudent to start a program with technology that barely satisfies critical performance standards today and will likely not meet or exceed them in 10 years when making a major aircraft acquisition decision. For the technological solution to remain current during the course of the program, it must be upgradable. The V-280 Valor provides the highly predictable performance attributes required for Army aviation to carry out its air assault mission, keep up with the capability of its DOD partners, and enable our country's warfighters to sustain competitive dominance in the global geopolitical environment for decades to come.